cut that little strip off and I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that yet. Because I, I want Kerry to put all the logs I'm gonna, like you did. I'm going to do this on the rest of the windows. Really good. Uh, well, hey everyone, welcome back to Backwoods Boys. Shane's gone right now. He's got some running around he's got to do before they head back up to the cabin. Dad and I went for a trip here for, for the afternoon. We stopped in at Uncle Kerry and Annie Janet's cabin. So this is the rest of the family up in the bush here. Uncle Kerry, Annie Janet, they've been trapping up here, well, I mean, longer than Shane and I've been on our trap line. So uh, this is their cabin. You'll see a, a bit of it. We've been, we helped, uh, well, I mean, we were like 11, 12, 13. We didn't really help, but we sort of helped Uncle Kerry when he was pounded a few We pounded a few nails. So, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice place. We love stopping in for coffee and a visit. And they've got a pretty awesome water, water system here that they've used the last few years. I figured we'd show you one option for sort of an off-grid system that doesn't take a lot of power, doesn't use a lot of water, and makes it nice so you can have a shower in an area that uh, there's no other showers around here. So I figured we'll show you that and uh, yeah, just give you a bit of a tour of everything here. <laughs> They asked if we had any boxes. I said, yeah. So anyway, they were going to set their trap line up. So they went out and somebody's got all these boxes out set on their trap line. They inherited this trap line. Right? Yeah. So he took their traps and hung them in a tree and stood their boxes up and wrote them a note saying, you know, you're on our trap line. Came back a week later. Traps are all reset. Boxes are all back baited. So he's a little flustered, so he did it again. He thought, okay, you know, twice they're going to get the message. So then comes back the following week, they're going to set the Martin line up. They're all set again. So he drove down the trail and he jumped on every box and just smashed them and flattened it, right? Went home and COs showed up. It's not their trap line, their trap line's a half mile over. <laughs> <laughs> so, so kudos to them. They came and bought all brand new Martin boxes replace and them. replaced them. Wow. Wasn't that good of them? I thought, <laughs> that's saying a true trapper to admit you did it and then replace it yet. I thought that was so yeah. good. So, uh, so you got a nice and toasty warm in here. <laughs> when we came to this, the... It's very homey, eh? It is. It's really nice. Like I tell Janet, I could live here, no problem. Yep. Oh, yeah. Because you got, like, you got everything you need, basically. Oh, yeah. This is perfect. We do have to come up with a better water system in the summer, though, because our well isn't got enough water for us. Trucks find enough snow to melt in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> but if we do the eaves trough thing, that'll help. I mean, we could definitely catch rainwater, and you'd have that for dishes and whatever when you got That's here. That's probably all you would ever need. But if a guy got a 500 gallon one, that'd be all we'd ever need up here. Holy sucker! You think how much water we use for showering? Yeah. Like showering, you don't use much water. Yeah. Use actually. That container, me and Carrie can do. Yeah, you can water. have like a really nice shower with one container of water, and I mean you're 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 literally shampooing, like you're sudsing up, hair, like you that know. I don't. I do separate. Right. That I do. Yeah. Because my hair sucks. So yeah, that's it. My hair takes a lot of water now. So. <laughs> that's yeah. that shower system is no different than somebody showering at home. That's a twelve volt pump. Yep. Yeah. Oh. It's got a cord that goes up and runs straight to the batteries upstairs. Oh, so you're mm -hmm. not you're not running on the power at all. What? You're not running on... 110? Yeah. No. Oh, that's nice. Because well, <laughs> lots of times, I mean, the generator, we never have the generator running. Because we're weird. We've got this we got, and one upstairs. Yeah. Because we're, like, this is, this is solar right here right now. That's wow. solar light. Very nice. That's a nice bright light. Yeah, no, it's, it's I got a tack light. So you want a tour now? Yeah, I think we should probably... So you want me to show how the water sits in there and everything and walk it through? Yeah, if you don't mind, that'd be pretty awesome to show how so just your system glasses works. On. We'll go upstairs, I'll show you right where we start upstairs, how I wired it in. So I got, I got four deep cell batteries hooked in unison here. I wired a extension cord in. So you're talking in parallel? Yep. Then I wired a, I got an extension cord hooked up and that extension cord runs straight down back to the bathroom where I got my solar system hooked. These are all hooked in 
and these go to a charge controller because we've got solar here too eh so the solar panels are charging those but your your shower runs off 12 volt yeah shower runs off 12 volt like from here we run into the to the power inverter system which will run the lights and everything else eh but if you see this cord is just an ordinary 12 volt extension cord and that runs straight back to the washroom okay and we'll so go downstairs got, i'll show you where that is so you got you've got 110 running your lights yep but off the same batteries charged by the same panels you've got a 12 volt pump coming off that yep yep gotcha. i'll show you we'll go back downstairs i'll give you a boo on that one We, we always bring snow in in these buckets and melt it in the winter time. And once it's melted, we always put into one pot and we always have water warm, which this one is warm right now. And then we take this and this is what we take in the washroom. And this is what we shower with. When the water's warm enough and we want to shower, then this is what we actually do. So how, how, much, how much water do you need for, for two people to shower? Probably like... I don't know. You could probably have a very comfortable shower with three gallons of water, two and a half, three gallons of water, wow. which isn't much snow when you actually melt it. No. Cool. Like it's actually, yeah, it's not a lot of, it's not a lot so of snow. Melt and, snow, warm it up, and you just keep, take that to your little pump. Yeah. Something. Yeah. I'll show you guys. Show me the rest. Sure. Open that door if you don't mind. Maybe just pop that light on in there. There you go. So we'll just set this up tight against this corner here. I'll just slide this curtain back and explain what we got going. So it looks like a real shower. It is. We actually got a ordinary shower stall. Um, we mounted it in here. If you see, I framed this wall up so we got a good wall on all four sides. Uh, so where does it drain out? I see it. it's raised up about six or eight inches there. Right? Well, we've got it. This sink is actually plumbed into a T that underneath there and it all free flows out of the wall of the cabin and we've got it goes quite a ways away from the cabin. So it doesn't go into your floor, it goes out. The yeah, it actually of your goes wall. out the bottom of the wall. Gotcha. Because if it goes out the floor, you're gonna get more cold draft coming up, right? So yeah. we go out the wall, it's all insulated where it goes out. Um we got a, a little 12 volt little 12 volt lift pump. Wow, that is tiny, isn't it? Yep. So we hooked it onto a clear line. I kind of rigged it up that it goes onto the ordinary shower thing. Hey? So you don't need your 110 inverter going. Nope. This is directly off a of 12 volt. If you see, here's the 12 volt line actually that I explained upstairs. Yeah. Off the battery. So it comes in. I took an ordinary little switch, hooked oh, it in here. A toggle switch. Right little there. toggle switch. Wired it. Comes out of the bottom. It's wired into this pump. And then we just take and we, you just drop the pump in the water. The water's warmed up to the temperature you want for showering. This is the, this is your shower thing, your shower nozzle. You can hang it up here if you want to do that. If you want to take it down and wash really good as the pump's running, you just, once you hit this switch, it takes a second and it wow. showers just as if it was an ordinary shower. It's got good pressure. Wow. That is nice. Shut it off. So what we usually do is get in there, reach out, turn it on, uh, get all soaked up real good. I shut the switch off. You put your soap on, you lather up real good, clean yourself up good, turn it on, and rinse yourself off really good. That is super. Just because we're way back in the middle of nowhere doesn't mean that I you know. can't stay clean. I know. And then when you're done, you lift this pump out, let it sit for a second, put it back in the shower, and it completely free drains on its own. It'll free drain out of there. The line will completely empty on its own over time. It doesn't take very long. So when you when you leave and your cabin freezes up, that's fine. That's fine. The pump won't freeze. The line doesn't freeze. It's completely good to go. Wow, the next time go. you come, same thing. I mean, the way the plumbing is in here, it goes out and there's yeah, nothing to drain. There's nothing to drain. This is a free draining system that we designed here. So 
Yeah, it's actually, it works really good. Neat system. Simple, but neat. Well, it works for us. No, that is cool. You know, it's... Uh, and it looks great. Well, that's what happens when you're married to a beautiful wife. <laughs> that keeps everything looking nice. Just because you're back in the bush doesn't mean it has to look bad. you got to have things looking good, too. Well, sure. Yeah. Got her work cut out for you, with you. There you go. <laughs> So there's the tour. It's a pretty awesome water system and Shane and I are going to need to figure something like that out because our system at our cabin is way more primitive than that. It's heat the water in a pail on the stove and then walk outside and try not to freeze anything off while you scrub up out in the snow. So this is way better. We'll try and figure something like that out. So thank you very much for showing us that tour. It's, no it's useful for Shane and I and I'm sure it's going to be useful for a lot of people here too. You know what, you know what always amazes me? is how it seems like everybody that pictures living in a trapping cabin or actually do go out and stay in a trapping cabin they think you have to live in primitive fashion you know you want a bath go out and roll in the snow and there's so many things you can do that make it really nice like nice for our wives to be part of absolutely and, and it's simple we've got a little technology but you can so easily have something like a hot shower virtually on demand all winter long and use almost no power. Like, yeah. Really, it's really a neat, neat thing, right? Yeah. Why not do it? Yeah. Well, well yeah. you use the, the sun as your power. Yep. Yeah. Stove for heat and, yep. you know, flip up a switch and a, <coughs> a tiny little pump, eh? Yeah. No, yep. that's really good. Yeah. That's, that's a good system. And we're going to try and do something the same. It also reminds people how much water they really use in like a city you know, and you just let the shower run when you shut it off like that you really know you learn <coughs> you learn the value of water especially when you have to melt it and carry it all that way and and heat it up by the pails so. well when you're this far back yeah you do uh learn the value of water yep yep absolutely because in the summer we dug a well we don't have lots of water yeah but we do have some water so this summer will be our next adventure. You'll have to come back and check it out. We're going to yeah. do an eaves trough system where we actually collect water That'll and store it. And yeah, you'll have to come back and check it out. For sure. We'll do that. Well, thanks for joining us. It was a lot of fun stopping for a visit and letting you guys tune in on all, on all of this. So thank you for watching. But don't just watch. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it if you liked what you saw. The subscriptions and the views really help us out. Uh, makes it more exciting for us to do it and makes it that so in the in the future we might be able to get some sponsors to sponsor these videos which means we can do even better at them and make sure to check out k and j northern fur stretchers that's uncle carrie and annie janet here you've heard us mention them in a bunch of our other videos they run the trapping store in nip one and they ship all over great prices you want to check them out for sure so thanks stay tuned for the next time and we'll see you then